Hello everyone, so various OSINT pages and groups have been hot off the marks to show satellite imagery of Israel's strikes against Iran. I intended to do this video yesterday, but it got sidetracked because of a Russian Su-25 shooting down another Russian Su-25. So, let's check the images, I'll put them out on one of today's videos instead. This first set are from Kerman Shah Missile Base. Firstly, on this image here, you can see an above ground warehouse that has been given a bit of a clout with damage to the roof. You can also see that its doors have been blown out. No idea what was stored here. On this image, more damage to an above ground warehouse. These two buildings, again, no idea what was inside of course. Now, this is one of the most interesting images for me. This image may look a bit confusing. Looks like some artwork that you'd see hung up in the Tate Modern. But this shows the entrances to the underground bunkers of the base, with fire damage around and smoke coming from the inside. This is a bit more apparent in this Airbus image here. This one has been annotated to show both the underground tunnel entrance and also the smoke coming from the entrance. Now, I'm no expert in ballistic missile storage, but I assume smoke coming from your ballistic missile storage is a bad sign. And this was a ballistic missile base, not a nuclear facility. No mention as to what missiles were stored here. I wonder if the strikes on the warehouse was also penetrated through to a bunker system and tunnels underneath, or if they were just targeting the surface structures of this facility and what may have been kept inside. This Google map image shows a bunker from the Airbus imagery which we saw with smoke coming out of it. Now, check just above. You can see there's a second bunker entrance as well, which wasn't visible on the Airbus imagery. Well, if we compare this Google map view with the first lot of satellite imagery which we have, you can see that smoke is coming from there too. So, I think this base is, as the Iranians say, bollocked. Here is a view of the facility overall, and zoomed out, you can see its location in Iran. So it's in western Iran, near the border with Iraq. So this is Israel basically targeting ballistic missiles to pretty much prevent Iran from carrying out retaliation strikes by hitting Iran's missile capabilities. Judging by the smoke coming from this underground facility, it seems to have worked. But of course, as it's underground, we can't tell for certain the damage caused. Now, the next one, the Natanz Nuclear Enrichment Complex. This is one of Iran's main nuclear facilities and a key part of Iran's nuclear weapons program. Iran reports that this facility is deep underground with a concrete protective shield 7.6 metres thick, with the centrifuges buried at a depth of 40 to 50 metres underground. The first satellite image which is on screen now shows damage to above ground installations. This is a power station that was targeted by Israeli missiles. Looks like two separate blasts hit here. On the right hand side, a builder whose purpose, I don't really know, looks to have taken a nice big hit. I assume this is related to the power station as well, given it's right next to it. Here's its comparison with a Google Maps image, so you can see that the damaged areas are highlighted in blue. The next image from Natanz, a completely leveled building in the centre, and just to the right hand side, you can see emergency vehicles are here, attending to the scene. Three fire trucks and a smaller vehicle with another fire truck seen on its way near the roundabout. Highlighted in blue here, another building slightly damaged. This one looks to have run afoul of our old nemesis of Russia's now making an appearance in Iran, debris. It doesn't look like a missile hit this to me, it looks like debris from whatever hit the centre building landed on here and made a hole in the roof. Here's a comparison image of what was here before. So. Google needs to update its imagery to remove that centre building as it's completely wiped out. Interestingly, you can see the building in the centre had a sort of cage around it. Not sure if that's some sort of, you know, mechanism for what work was carried out in here or not, or if it's intended to be a protective cage. If so, then it failed at its job. This image is of the same area, not as high quality, but it shows a wider area and is annotated so we can see what is what. So on this image, you can see that the building completely levelled was the pilot enrichment plant, which, and I'm no nuclear expert, is important. Also annotated here are the personnel entrance above it, 
which I believe means personnel entrances to the underground part of this facility. Next to it, strike damage shown near those. Unfortunately, not very clear. The strike damage is in between the personnel entrance and the approximate location of the underground enrichment halls. Now, I can't see any signs of smoke coming from the inside of the facility from this strike, targeting the underground section. So I can't say if it penetrated the base of protective shell or not. But at the moment, it does look like the protective shell actually worked and the missiles didn't actually fully, fully penetrate the facility. Here, another detailed but zoomed out image. This covers the electrical substation, which we looked at earlier. Just beneath that, destroyed equipment, also unidentified. And to the far right of that, a support building related to the base's power supply that was hit. Then at the bottom, again, we can see our old friend, the pilot fuel enrichment plant again. The Institute for Science who shared and annotated these images says that the pilot fuel enrichment plant destroyed here was where Iran was producing near 60% highly enriched uranium. So, high profile and successful strikes here, and strikes are continuing. So, this place may get hit again if Israel doesn't feel that we've destroyed it enough. Here is a Google map view of the facility and here zoomed out to show its location overall. Now I have a smaller satellite image here, not high quality, but it shows damage caused to Iran's Sobashi radar site. This was confirmed hit in a video yesterday. The imagery isn't clear enough to tell how badly damaged it is. And here an image of a site, this was targeted to pretty much blind Iran's air defences and their defence network prior to the operation. And here's its location zoomed out to show it overall. So that's it for the satellite imagery, but I have more to show for you. First of all, we're going to have a look at this photo here which is worth looking at, then a few videos. So, Iranian air defence is exposed as completely useless here. I've seen little of a way of confirmed interceptions of Israeli missiles here. The image on screen now pretty much sums it up. A Heron UAV operated freely over the city of Tabriz, which is 150 kilometers into Iran. So it isn't like this drone is just nosing around on the border regions. It's hovering deep in Iranian airspace, seeking out targets and that sort of thing for the Israeli airstrikes, and Iran can't do anything about it. You could go so far to say Israel has air superiority over Western Iran here. It's Pretty embarrassing. These strikes are continuing as well. So Israel has certainly taken off its belt and given Iran the type of spanking that MPs pay a fortune for in Soho. Here's a few more recent videos from the latest round of strikes. These ones are from last night. This first one shows a strike at fighter jet hangars at Merabad Air Base in Tehran. You can see there's a fire here and thick smoke over sight. Quite a lot of black smoke and fire. So it looks like something important was hit here. The geolocation for this was done by Rocketman on Twitter and looks to be coming from the area here. Looks like at least one or maybe even both of these hangars were targeted. This base is located in Tehran and is home to Museum Peace F-14 and MiG-29s of the Iranian Air Force. So the strikes yesterday looked to focus on nuclear sites and ballistic missile capabilities. The ones carried out last night carried out after Iran's damp squib of a retaliation strike targeting Israel, are targeting military infrastructure like this airbase here, and like this video here, which shows Israel hit of a base of the Iranian army's 216th Armoured Brigade in the city of Zanjan, a big cloud of smoke seen rising over the side. This is the base shown here. Not sure what was targeted here exactly, of course, but seeing a strike on an Armoured Brigade is surprising because there's pretty much zero chance of this becoming the ground war. I guess this rail is now just hitting whichever targets are available to completely diminish Iran's military capabilities as much as possible and cause as much damage to Iran's military infrastructure as possible. I am surprised so far we haven't seen any confirmed strikes targeting Iranian ships or the Navy, as you'd expect to think they would be a key target for Israel and a pretty embarrassing loss for Iran. I'm hoping eventually that one of Israel's targets will be the Shahed drone factories, as that will be a bit of a boost for Ukraine. Not a definitive boost for Ukraine, as Russia does have its own Shahed producing capabilities now, but it would certainly help prevent Iran from sending Shaheds 
and she head parts of that sort of thing to Russia. Additionally, hopefully, this means that Iran isn't going to be sending any more drones or missiles to Russia, as they're likely going to be needing them themselves now. Finally, we're going to finish with some fake news. So Iran has claimed to have downed the F-35, and this image is doing the rounds on Iranian propaganda pages and Iranian shields as telegram feeds and Twitter feeds has been proof. An AI-generated aircraft, which looks about as much as an F-35 as a pterodactyl does. So, that's it for this video. A little diversion from Ukraine here, but one which I hope you found interesting still. Thanks very much for watching, and take care everybody.